Hello there, Pastor Reed from Online Bible Church. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to do a Bible review, but an electronic Bible review. We're going to look at eSword today. Now, eSword is an application that you can download for your phone. Now, I have an iPhone, and so I have it downloaded on there. I also have it on my iPad, and I have it on my computer, and I believe that it's free to download. I could be wrong, but I believe, at least up until recently, it has been free. And in my opinion, eSword is probably the best electronic Bible out there because there's so much that you can do with it and so much that you can add to it. So I just pulled up here, I opened it up, and it comes up to Ephesians 4. Now you can, if you want, edit the text. I have this Georgia font, I believe. But you can do all different kinds of, of fonts you want. You can turn off and on a red letter if you want. Um, some of the cool things that you can do here, and I'm really hoping that this comes through on the video uh, because I'm recording a screen here, is you can add your own notes. Like, for example, there's a note I entered in for Ephesians 4 verse 1. And it's all right there. All you have to do is tap on it. Um, you can tag verses to different topics. And if you don't like the topics that are there, you can create your own. I have all kinds of, of topics. I'm just going to show you here. Um, so you go up to the top, up to these lines here, and you'll get compare. You can compare, parallel different Bible versions if you want, um, tag verses. So here are a bunch of different topics, and I've got uh, verses tagged to each one of those topics. A lot of them are default, but you can add as many as you want. So um, with Bibles, it comes default King James, which is good because I am a King James Bible believer, and the King James is the version that I use. But it also comes with the King James Plus, which is uh, the King James Version with Strong's numbers, so you can look up um, in the Greek or Hebrew or Aramaic or whatever um, that particular passage is, was originally written in and look at what the uh, original definition of that meaning was or that word was. I don't use that a lot because I believe in the inerrancy of the King James Version. But also which comes is the NIRV, which is the New International Reader's Version, which I'm not familiar with. I have purchased and downloaded the NIV, the New King James, and the NLT, only because I want to, to do some comparisons and, and um, for reference, but I don't really use them or read from them because I'm King James. Um, but you can get all kinds of, of different translations. Um, you can also get all kinds of commentaries, dictionaries, um, references. So if you want to, and I'll show you the commentary. So you go to a verse, you tap on it, and it will highlight in blue. Now I've added my own highlighting here, but um, if you highlight a verse and you go to commentary, it will go to commentary. Now the commentaries that I have here... Adam Clark, which I believe comes default, and F.B. Myers, uh, through the Bible day by day, I believe that's default as well. So is John Wesley. But I purchased and downloaded uh, Finest Dake, who did the Dake study notes, the Defender Study Bible, which is Henry Morris's um, uh, st study Bible, the Life Application Notes, which are from the Life Application study Bible, um, John MacArthur from the MacArthur Bible Commentary, um, C.I. Schofield, the, the Schofield Reference Notes, and so if you go to comment, if you go to Bible, highlight a verse, go to commentary, it'll come up with the commentary. Now what came up automatically was John MacArthur, that must have been the last one I looked at. So you tap on John MacArthur, and there's your other commentaries there. And so if I want to look at what Finest Dake has to say on that uh, that verse, there it is. If I want to see um, the Defender Study Notes, there it is there. Um, 
So there's all kinds of different references and, and commentaries that you can get. Some of them are free. Some of them you will have to pay for. But I believe the prices are, are very cheap. I think they're under $15 for a whole uh, commentary series. Um, there's also a dictionary, which I don't have uh, much on here. I've got Knave, Schofields, and Smith, which I believe are default. So again, you go up to the top here. And there, Schofield, Smith, so nothing's coming up, so I don't, I must not have anything in there. There is Lexicon where you can enter Strong's numbers. So if you go to um, the KJV Plus, you'll see uh, the scriptures, um, and each word has a number beside it. So therefore, uh, let's look up Beseech. We'll look at the number Beseech. So there it is in Greek, and it's got its meaning in Greek. Um, there's also references you can get. Now, I've got um, different things added here. I've got the Defender's Study Bible Appendices, which is Henry Morris. Dispensational Truth Charts by Clarence Larkin. I downloaded those because I love Cl Clarence Larkin's uh, timelines. They're amazing. Dispensational Truth by Clarence Larkin, um, the LASB Personality Profiles, The Ministry of Jesus by R.D. Myers, and The Plan of the Ages by Finus Dake. And so all of that is there as well. Um, if you tap on resources down here in the corner, you get a list of all of the Bible versions. Um, these are what I've installed. You can go to Bible along the top here. And here's a list of all the available Bible versions that they have. Tons of them. And some of them are even in other languages. Uh, Spanish, Swahili, Swedish, uh, Somali, Ukrainian, Turkish, um, Welsh, Italian, Indonesian, Haitian, French. So all kinds of Bibles are not all in English. But these are, you can get the Amplified Bible, the Christian Standard Bible, the Complete Jewish Bible, the Message, the New American Standard Bible from 1995, the New American Standard Bible Study Set, the New English Translation, New International Version, New King James Version, New Living, New Revised Standard Version, New Revised Standard Version Catholic, uh, the Revised Standard Version, the Living Bible, and West's Expanded Translation. Of course, all you need is the King James. Commentary. There is a list of all of the commentaries that are available, and there's quite a few. Dictionaries. There's a list of um, the dictionaries that are available. Lexicons that are available. Uh, reference notes that are available. It's got the, the Anti-Nicene Fathers, Creeds of Christendom, Fox's Book of Martyrs, which I've heard about but never actually read, How to Study the Bible, uh, uh, prayer and Praying Men, uh, St. Paul the Traveler, Scripture, Atlas, all kinds of, of extra stuff that you can add here. There's also devotional uh, things here as well. And so that is the eSword um, in a nutshell. Now you can, I showed you on the iPad, but it looks pretty well the same. I can't show you on my phone because I'm using my phone to record this video. Um, or you can get it for the computer as well. But that's just a very brief look at eSword, and I love eSword. I use it all the time. I still love the old printed Bible, and when I preach and teach and carry to church, that's what I bring. But also these, these um, uh, electronic Bibles are also handy to have as well. And so I'm hoping this helps you, and until next time, God bless.